Hi boys and girls, it's Marcy Chavales and it's time for a story. Today's story is Howard B. Wigglebottom and the Power of Giving, a Christmas story. This looks like a fun story. I hope you'll enjoy it. Let's grow. This is an AR book for all you AR readers. Quiz number 145117. It's level 3.0 and worth a half a point. It was Christmas time, the season for giving, but for Howard B. Wigglebottom, it was the season for getting. Getting new things made Howard happy for a while, but soon he would get bored and want more stuff. Are you like Howard? Do you get things and then get bored and want more things? Hmm. Howard, you need to learn to share, said his mom. But Howard wasn't listening. Mine! Mom, I'm almost finished with my list for Santa. Oh, Howard, sighed his mom. You already have way more than you need. But Howard wasn't paying attention. He was listening to TV commercials for ideas to add to his list. Hmm, who do you think Howard is really thinking about? Is he thinking about other people or himself? Yeah, you're right, he is thinking about himself. Howard, we will be going to visit your cousins tomorrow, said his mom. Pack lots of warm clothes. But Howard wasn't listening. He packed his toys instead. Hmm, what a poor choice, disobeying his parents. Howard and his family arrived at the station just in time. As he was getting on the train, his big bag got caught in the door and the toys spilled all over. When he hopped off to get them, the doors closed and the train left. Howard was all alone. Oh no, how scary. Unsure where to go, he started walking. It was really cold. Howard had no money, no food, and no phone. His toys were really heavy, but there was no way he was leaving them there. He heard noises around him. Howard knew he wasn't alone. Plop! He started to run, but the noises followed him. He found a place to hide. As he stood there cold and alone, he saw a family having dinner. It made him really hungry. Howard began to cry and tears froze on his cheeks. He thought, I wish I could be warm at home with my family. Will I ever see them again? He sat down outside the window and soon fell sound asleep. I bet his family's very worried about him. When Howard woke up, he heard a tiny voice saying, are you the Santa Bunny? I have a letter for you. He jumped up and grabbed his things, yelling, Leave me alone! He was about to run, but he tripped and rolled all the way down a hill. Stuck and unable to move, he watched his toys being grabbed. He tried to scream, but couldn't because his mouth was full of snow. Howard became a giant snowman. Hmm, looks like his toys are not being able to help him now. Wow, look at this page. How fun. Whoa. We just want to help Santa Bunny, said the birds as they put the toys back in the bag. We love you. Howard felt sad and ashamed. They weren't after his toys. Homeless like him, they were just trying to help. The bluebird gave Howard a piece of paper. That's kind of them to help. Howard wasn't thinking the best about them, was he? Dear Santa Bunny, it read, I will be so grateful if I can belong to a loving family. Thank you. Howard felt sad and ashamed again. He had a very loving family he took for granted. He asked the others for their wishes. A warm bed, 
food and someone to say I love you, they all answered. Right then, he decided to help and take them all home. He made a wish himself. Dear Santa, please forget my other list. What I really want is to appreciate the good things I already have. Please help me. Singing Christmas carols under the stars, they flew together until they found the way to Howard's house. Howard was happy to get back home. After feeding his friends and tucking them into bed, he stayed up a little longer to look at his favorite toys. He had too much stuff. Howard picked a special toy for each of his new friends. He couldn't wait to see their faces as they opened the presents. He had never felt this joy before, the joy of giving from the heart. If I could only have my family back again, Howard wished he could tell them he was so sorry for his old selfish ways. Wow, look at Howard's smile has changed in the beginning of the story. Let's look at his face. Look at that. Hmm. Now look. And when he's giving, it looks like it's changing how he feels. Just then the door opened and there they were. Howard, we've been looking all over for you, said his mom. How did you find your way home, you smart little boy? My new friends helped me, Howard said, and told his family everything that had happened. Can they stay over for the holidays? Of course, we would love to have them, his parents said. Look how happy they are finding Howard. The next evening at Christmas dinner, Howard learned his parents were working on finding a home for each one of his new friends. Mine! shouted Howard suddenly. Everyone stopped and stared. Just kidding, he said. I'm into giving and sharing now. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas, everyone. Wow, what a lovely story. I liked how Howard went from being selfish and thinking about what he was going to get and focus later on how he can give and how he can make things better for his friends. I hope you enjoyed the story. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up below. If you want to hear more stories, click the subscribe button. All right. Have a great day. See you later.